Hello Pigeons, Melissa here. So today we're right back on schedule and I'm painting Jane Cobb from the series Firefly, played by Adam Baldwin. There he is, that's my reference picture. I must confess that I have the biggest crush on Jane. He is the complete opposite of my usual type, what with him being a selfish mercenary with no regard for human life. But for some reason, it just works for me. But putting my thirst aside for one second, I'm going to talk a bit today about good and bad art. Since I've started drawing and painting, I've had numerous people say, oh, I couldn't do it, I'm so bad at art. I find this to be an interesting statement because the truth is you can't be bad at art. You can't be good at it either. I'm just as guilty of using these terms when what I actually mean is, this turned out the way I wanted it to, or this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Art is all about what evokes emotion in the viewer. So let's say I went to the Tate Modern tomorrow, and I go and see this painting that all the critics rave about and it's worth millions. I could walk in and go, that sucks, and just go home. But when I get home, my son could run up to me with a drawing, which he says is mummy, but looks suspiciously like an aardvark, and I'll love it. To me, it's the best picture I've ever seen. So, to anybody out there who wants to be able to create, but feels they aren't good enough, you are. A piece of work you produce will be somebody's favourite work ever. And art is one of the few things in the world where that statement is true. There's no right or wrong, no bad or good, it's just whatever makes you feel. So put those emotions into your work and you will create something incredible and one of a kind, completely unique to you. So that's my thoughts on that matter, but my second discussion today will be about using contrasting colours. For Jane's background, I've used a bright orange, reminiscent of that very fetching hat he wore, and I've gone through it with the colour purple, which represents his cute little weird crush he has on Katie. Contrasting colours are considered to be opposite colours, but they work beautifully together. If we hearken back to the 90s, there were two video game series that employed this technique well. One is Sonic the Hedgehog, and the other is Mario and Luigi. Sonic is blue, and Tails is that yellow, orange, and they contrast, and Mario is red and Luigi is green, which also contrast. But I'm certain you'll think back to those games and think about how good they looked. Not in terms of graphics, but in colour. It will probably evoke some pretty strong emotions too. And this was done deliberately by the game creators to make the characters and game design more aesthetically pleasing. And today I use contrasting colours to create the background for Jane, whilst displaying the colours that I felt represent him best. Um, check out a colour wheel, and that will show you more examples of contrasting and complementary colours. So we've come to the end of my video, I apologise for my rambling. Look, there's my boy, he turned out fab. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.